Hey guys, Danielle here. Today I am doing a makeup storage video. Um, it is a little bit smaller. I am just starting my makeup collection. But yeah, let's just get into this video. I have this awesome stuff um, right here in front of me, all my makeup. And yeah, I'll tell you all the things that I love and the things that I'm not liking right now. And yeah, so let's just get into the video. So guys, this is all my makeup right here. I have my brushes. I would tell you where I got those from, but they were a Christmas present a long time ago. Um, I have my beauty blender, which I love to bits. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. Now moving on to my container. First off, I got this container over here holding my brushes. I got that from Walmart. And then um, the beads, jewels, whatever um, inside of it are also from Walmart. This container right here is from the container store. Um, best investment of my entire life. This is Miracle Worker. It holds a lot of things for being so small. Um, so moving on to the top, this is my Kat Von D foundation. Story about this foundation, I'm not loving it right now. Um, I loved it for like the first two weeks when I had it. It worked amazing for me and then all of a sudden it made my face very greasy and it was just no bueno for me. Um, moving on, I have my just everyday chapstick right there. It's called Compaxin. I don't know. My mom buys it. And then I have my Naked 3 palette right here, which I love to absolute bits. Now, just moving on to the first drawer. Um, in here, I have my um, Clean and Clear Mark Treatment. Basically, um, it gets away, takes away, gets away, gets rid of all the marks on my face um, from like acne scars and things like that. It's been working out for me so far, slow and steady. Um, I also have my Everyday Foundation. This one's almost gone. It's the Revlon Color Stay 24 hour one and it's for oily skin because yes, I have some oily skin and I actually love this. Um, I keep going back and trying different foundations but I always come back to this one because it works amazing for me. Um, I do recommend putting it on with a beauty blender otherwise it gets like really cakey real quick. Now moving on to my primer in here. I have the... It's the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. It really helps with the with not making my face oily. It's also a really good primer, and I noticed when using this, I get less acne because obviously it's Neutrogena and it's really awesome for your skin. Moving on, I have my mascara that I love to death. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous. Um, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. It always it separates my eyelashes and makes them look super long so in full so that's why um, I always pick it because it's really awesome and it works wonders for me then just moving on I have my Sephora liquid liner it is absolutely my favorite liquid liner in the entire world it works wonders for me it's very um it's very pigmented so if you ever mess up good luck getting it off <laughs> um, and then I also just love it because it is um, very easy to control with your hand. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's really easy to use and it's very accurate and precise. So that's why I love this. Just moving on, I have my Fit Me Powder by Maybelline in 135. Um, this is super awesome for me. I just wear it every day. It's very simple and it really um, makes my foundation stay in place and everything like that. So this has been a go-to item for me. I have repurchased this several times and it works wonders. And now just moving on to NARS. This is the NARS bronzer in Laguna. So I'll just open it up for you guys. And here it is. There's my phone right there. But anyways, here's my um, bronzer. It's called Laguna by NARS. Oh my gosh, it's the best bronzer in the entire world. This is my go-to item. Actually, I just purchased this, I want to say, about two months ago, and it is a continued purchase because I love it so much, and it's amazing. Very pigmented, but also very natural. That's why I love it so much. Moving on to, we'll put this in there. Go. Moving on to my second drawer. These are things that I use occasionally more than the bottom drawer. So right here I have... Um, I have a darker shade of the um, the Revlon Color Stay foundation. This is um, more of a summer color for me. I was really dark last summer, and that's why I have this one. I also have the Fit Me um, by Maybelline, the actual foundation. It is really awesome for those days when you're having great skin and you just want super light coverage. That's why I still have this. Then I have this e.l.f. Zit Zapper. Um, it's really good. Um, 
I would say it's okay for the price. I only bought this for, I believe it was like $3. Um, it's really good. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. I recommend going with Clean and Clear. Um, that's why it's in the second drawer because I really don't use it that much. But yeah, it's really good for what it is, for how much it costs anyways. So um, personally, I would still recommend going with like the Clean and Clear um, Zip Zapper or something like that. I have the Gimme Brow. I absolutely love this to bits. Um, why it's in the second drawer is because I don't wear it on an everyday basis. Um, I love it so much. I only wear it when I'm going out and on an everyday basis. I'm not going to wear this to work or anything like that. So yeah, that's why I have the Gimme Brow. Although I do love it to bits. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. Then I have the Professional by Benefit as well. This is awesome for, I get really bad, um, I, or I get really bad. I have really big pores like on my nose and like my cheeks. So I use this and it helps me um, get rid of them and things like that. So yeah, it works. It works okay. I wouldn't say I had higher hopes for this product. I wish that it would completely get rid of them. But now um, it, it, it does good for what it is. But yeah, I wish it would just be a little bit better if you know what I mean. Like I wish it would make my pores completely invisible. I just had really high hopes for this product. And then moving on to my last and final drawer, I have, we'll pull this out all the way. I have eyelash curlers. I don't use them that often. I only use them when I'm going out or doing something big. I also have a pair of eyelashes in the back. Then moving on from here, I just have scissors. Usually I'll use these for like my brows when I want to trim them. I have a Sephora blush. It is in um, Healthy Rose. Um, the reason I don't use this blush that much is because it's very pigmented and very pink, so it doesn't look as natural. I'm a very natural makeup type of person, so that's why I don't use this one that much, and it's in the bottom drawer. And then I also have the e.l.f. concealer. Um, it is okay, not the best product. Um, I mean, it's only like a dollar, so it does really good for how much it actually costs, but other than that, it's not really the best in the entire world. Um... Moving on to this, this is the 3-in-1 Eye Concealer by Neutrogena. I absolutely love this to bits. Um, I use it a lot when I put on heavier makeup because there's a lot more fallout if you use if you use a lot of like blacks and like dark colors like that. So it's great to clean up your eyes after you're done using like a lot of makeup and things like that. Um, then I have this palette right here. It is the Maybelline um, Chocolate Mousse. Um, it's very good. I love it. it. I used it all the time before I got my Naked 3 palette. What I love about this is it's just browns and it's very natural, so that's why I super duper love this. And then I don't wear eyeliner that much, but this is the Sephora uh, Waterproof Eyeliner in just black. I don't wear eyeliner that much, so that's why it's in the bottom drawer. Um, I'm not really big into eyeliner. I'm more in putting eyeshadow on my bottom lashes instead. Then I have this sample right here from Sephora. It is the Makeup HD Foundation, the Forever HD, Makeup Forever HD, there you go, that's what it is. Um, I really like it. It's um, it's kind of like a Fit Me foundation because it's very light and it's really good for when you're having really good skin days. But other than that, my go-to foundation is definitely the Revlon 24 Hours. And then just moving on to my lipsticks in the back. This one is the L'Oreal Skyline Pink. It is a really awesome color. Let me pull it out here for you guys. So here you go. It is just a basic nude color. I would swatch it for you guys, but my other hand is super busy holding my um, phone to film this. So it's just a basic nude color. It's very shimmery. I wish it wasn't as shimmery as it was. But right now, it's a really great color. Um, I'm actually going to the... Um, in July, I'm going to... I'm going to California, so that's going to be super awesome, and I'm going to go to the Mac store, and I'm going to buy a lot of super deep, a lot of makeup, so I'll be sure to show you guys all of that. Now moving on to this one. This is the Color Whisper. I believe it's by Maybelline. Don't quote me on that. And this is the color. It's just a very pink. I would consider it a lip balm. It is... Um, it's a little bit sheer. Um, when you first put it on, it's very bright, but it does wear out throughout the day. So that's why I would just say use it as a lip balm if you just want to add a touch of pink to your lips. But other than that, it's a really great lipstick, and I love it so much. So that was my entire makeup collection. Yeah, it was a very quick run through. I don't have that much makeup, like I said. 
but I am accumulating a lot. I find myself always in Sephora and Ulta just looking at makeup and purchasing it. So yeah, but other than that, that was my makeup collection and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.